Yeah, going for a hike today. My name is Jesse. This is Superior State Outdoors. We're about to hike into Union River Cabin. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check the trail out. Let's get to the cabin. Starting the trail. So far, it looks pretty good. It's got a little two track, it looks all right. So, we're going to keep on rolling. They say this trail goes for about a mile to get to the cabin. So far, it's nice and clean. It's an easy trail, not bad at all. Let's hope it stays that way. You just see the sun poking through. It really is a good trail. When you're coming in, there's a split back there. Just stay on the trail. Don't get fooled into going down the other road. <laughs> and here we are. Right after the split, which will stay to the right, the Union River Cabin sign pops up. That's where we're heading right now. Anyhow, yeah, once you hit the cabin side, this road don't look too bad either. Nice little two track. Oh, beautiful day for a hike. Let's head on down there, take a look at the cabin. the river in the background. Oh, look what's up ahead. Whoa, there it is. Tucked in the woods. Let's get down there and check it out. There she is, guys. We're coming up on her right now. That must be where the wood stores for the uh, winter time. There is none. Wow. It's beautiful in here. And there's the cabin. It's beautiful. Somebody is right neighborly and left some wood for us. Outstanding. Look at that. Wow. Got a little vault toilet back there. Yeah, that's outstanding. All right, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna take a look. All right, guys. Y'all are gonna love these. These cabins are always gorgeous. Always spectacular. Let's get up in here. Let's take a look around. We got another little light, just in case. We'll go around real quick here. Yeah? Nice little kitchen area. Not too shabby. And of course, beautiful furnace. Get a little table here. Beautiful. Lots of windows. Lots of windows. You see just about everything here. Eight bunks. This is a big one. This is an eight bunk cabin. Blurp video. All right. Let's go through what you got here. This really is a nice cabin. We stayed in many cabins here in the parkies. We never stayed at this one. We try to make it uh, well, at least one, if not more here. Look at that. I love these stoves too. They are amazing. Look at that. Plenty of windows. And later on, we'll get into the book. 
All right, now we're gonna go check out the spring. We gotta head to a cross cut cabin for that. We just came out of the cabin area. Now we're gonna take the trail up about another mile and check out the spring. Beautiful. Wow. Some wildlife running around back there. Partridge. Big old partridge. He likes it. So do we. There's a creek running down there. Yep, we're gonna head for the spring. Got a nice little bridge coming up. A little baby waterfall. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yeah. A gentle breeze. Wow. The hike to the spring is beautiful. Cliffs in here and everything. It's a gorgeous little walk. A little bit of an incline here. Heading on up. Oh, we're getting a little closer. Union Spring. Cross cut cabin. This way. Got a big old beaver dam in there. I love these swamps. Nice little bridge. Nice cross cut pad back there. It's only a two bunk. It's very small. The neighbors are very friendly. They let us pass on through to go check out the spring. This was right up the trail here. So we're going to check that out. But that's a cute little cabin. Got a nice small campfire. Can't wait to get back to our own. Yeah. So far, this trail ain't been bad. Just think it's trail. A few roads hanging up. No big deal. It ain't that bad. Right now we're falling along that swamp we seen earlier. It's supposed to be 0.6 miles back here, so it ain't too bad once you pass Crosscut Cabin. 0.6. Look at that. Oh man. This is deep forest. Gotta love that. And the smell. Oh, you know that's good stuff. Still smell the campfire back there. So still and quiet back here. I mean, it is so still. I can hear birds and stuff chirping and little squacks are complaining I'm out here. Of course, nature provides. We need a little rest. Just throws a tree in the trail. Trees are huge. I can hear frogs in the distance. It's quite the little walk, but I think I see it coming up. Keep going. Never give up. Never give up. Whew. That's quite the hike through the uh, through the uh, swamps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see it. So we're almost there. All right, look at that Union Spring. We're gonna walk out on that and take a look here in a second. All right, we made her. Let's head on down here and take a look at this thing. Here. This is the second biggest spring. The biggest one is Kitchikimi. Kitchikimi, Kippy, whatever. I'm not very good at that. Look at that water. Look at that. Beautiful. See if we can see some bubbling. Oh. 
I don't see any fish in here like I did in case you kid me. You can go out there on a on a dock. But uh, that's what it's clean. Let's turn this thing around. You can get a good look. Definitely worth the hike. Yeah, we got to see that big one. I was looking for one that was bigger than that little bitty one we saw. We did find the big one. Good. All right, now for the long haul back to the cabin. And it's probably going to get dark, so we'll be doing it with headlamps. <laughs> it's worth it, guys. Come on out and check it out. It's quite the walk, but it's worth it. It's two miles from the road all the way back up in here. One mile to the cabin we're at. Almost two to the other one cross cut. Let's get back to the cabin. It's a nice little meadow in the middle of nowhere on the trail. Even at sunset, the colors were vibrant. I love these little rocket stoves. You got me one little tender bundle out here. A little tough to find. We've had a lot of rain, but Looks like I got it going, finally. Nice. Ooh. It's been wet, but uh, after several uh, starter bundles, I finally got her going good. You know I love a glorious flat. Now the inside and outside fires are going. Man, it is hard finding tinder bundles when it's wet. <laughs> good thing there's birch. Oh, getting late. I love it. Got a lot of my hiking, extra hiking in. Usually we come right out, get straight to it, a nice fire, and set everything up. But uh, yeah, we have a beautiful fire. It took a lot, like I said, we've had a lot of rain. And uh, yeah, had a lot of rain. So everything was wet. But there, thank God, there's golden birch everywhere throughout here. So I went through and I picked off my golden barge bark and little twigs and snapped them off, made a real tight fist, warmed it up real good, put it in, and finally it lit. Same within the cabin itself. This is why we come out. These hiking cabins are just fabulous. They're fabulous. I love them. And uh, I'll never stop. Hard on the body, uh, especially when you get older. But if you let everything stop you because you're in pain, you're never going to get anywhere. You'll never leave the couch. I mean, y'all know that I've uh, been with the channel for a while. I got a blowed out ankle, pins, plates, everything else. Every time I do this, it's bruising and pain for days, sometimes weeks. I still do it. I'll never stop. <sighs> now, for the ultimate painkiller, a few beers, an enjoyable fire. We'll cook later. Right now, after that long hike, <laughs> I want to relax a while. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the Porcupine Mountains. I always have. And this is one of the cabins I've never been to. It's been on my bucket list. And now I can cross it off. There are a few others. That little two bunk down there uh, where the people were at. I wanted to check that one out too one day, but uh, it's not on my top priority list. I like the ones where not a lot of foot traffic goes through. And there, everybody runs to the spring, so they always go by there constantly. So you're never really secluded. Here, this is off the trail and way back. So these are the kind I like most. We've heard all kinds of wildlife. I mean, tons of wildlife out here. I'm surprised I haven't jumped anything really big. But uh, uh, one time out here, I jumped a bear. And I mean, it was <laughs> me to this camera away. He jumped, I jumped. <laughs> yeah, fight or flight, and I ain't running, so I'm good thing he did. Mm. Oh, cheers, my friends. That was fabulous. We needed that. It was a lot of work today to get a fire going, but now we have one. And I do love my fires. Absolutely love them. The warmth, oh, you can't, you just cannot beat a good fire. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. The breathe. Your heart gets to pounding when you start taking them long hikes. It is hard on the body, but nothing some ibuprofen won't take care of in a couple of beers, right? Yeah, it's nice. Very thick forest. Oh, I'm 
to relax a while and enjoy this fire. My beautiful home. <laughs> For one night, I own this. <laughs> oh, absolutely magnificent. Another beautiful day. Nice hike. I love this. You know that. That's where I get to relax and enjoy myself by a nice fire. You know I'm gonna. I live for these moments. All right, y'all. Here's the book. Try and do this where you can see it. You can always uh, pause it if you wanted to and read them, but I'm just going to page through. Play games, all that. A lot of artists. <laughs> See if we can skim through and get some artist book for you. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. I like the artist work. I flip through these every time I'm in one of these. I like the artwork. <laughs> Just like that, a miracle of time. Oh, dinner is done. <laughs> All right, guys. Time to hit the rack. See you in the morning for coffee. <laughs> Good night. my friends well y'all this was probably the best sleep I've had in a long long time I could hear that babbling last night oh fabulous so they said there's a pool down the river here people were swimming I was reading in the book last night there's a cabin in the background some of the cleanest water I've ever drank I mean it comes right out of the Forky Mountains I've seen a blue herring yesterday flying around back here. It's very rare. They usually don't fly around deep in the woods like this. It was right back in a pool back over there behind these two trees that fell over. Absolutely beautiful. That's rare. They usually don't seem, like I said, that deep in the forest. Look at that. Wow. It's a nice way to wake up and have your coffee, isn't it? Yeah, if you ever get a chance to rent this cabin, I definitely recommend it. Beautiful hike. Oh, it's gorgeous. Sore as always, but nothing a little ibuprofen didn't fix. Yeah, I never give up. Wow. Yeah, I highly recommend this place. Pork Pine Mountains never disappoints. It's like Lake Superior, and it's on Lake Superior, so you can't beat that. Uh, I think I'm going to get back up in here in the cabin and have me some more delicious coffee. <laughs> Beautiful.
beautiful sunrise. What a beautiful little cove. I was like just walking around looking. Ah, uh, beautiful out here. This is the kind of thing that annoys me right here. Take a look at this. What is the reason for that? You see that? What exactly is the reason for you to take the axe that they provide in these cabins and feel that you need to hack a tree? I can't stand that. Don't do that. I know when you've seen it, it'll heartbreak you too. Yeah, it's, mm, that's just as bad as leaving garbage in the camp. I don't like that. So it had to be people before me or before them, but pretty recent, I would say. I mean, you're looking around, you can see it. I mean, come on, don't do that. No reason for it. And like I said, they provide saws and axes here at the cabin. They do not provide dishes anymore. They used to, they don't anymore. So when they're gone, they're gone. So bring your own little coffee pot, bring your own dishes. There's plenty of woods here, plenty. You can find wood, it's not hard. <laughs> Just make sure you bring in your own stuff for cooking, things like that. Oh, this is fabulous. I hate leaving these cabins. When you get out here, you want to move right in? Yes, you do. Especially when you got a beautiful creek to get good, clean water. All right, y'all. Got to finish throwing the packs on. Got about a mile hike out the old blue. All right. See you on the next one. Love y'all. Be good.